Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader. Ooh, Virgo. Yes. All right. Queen of Pentacles. Can I finish my intro? All right. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos. Now, Virgo, I already see what type of time you're on. I feel like you're still trying to focus on what you can control. And I say that because I did pull a card for you and I pulled a card for your person. Okay. From my love deck. And the card we pulled for you was separation. All right, so I feel like you've recently undergone some sort of separation, some sort of split, and you're still thinking about your person. You know it's not done, right? Like this is not an energy where it's like it's final. This doesn't feel that cutthroat. And I also say that because your person is on the same page. All right, because they pulled clock. All right, so they're like, all right, this is just a matter of time until I have my Virgo back. I understand things take time. We might be going through a certain kind of cycle here. All right, so I'm going to see um, what's going on, what's most on your mind. And also, I'm going to pull cards for your person as well and see what they're thinking of in this time of separation, Virg. All right, before I pull, um, ooh, Ten of Swords. I feel like it was a bit painful here. But I was going to say, I, um, yeah, I pulled this. I see stab in the back. Oh, hell no, nah, Virg. All right, so you might have felt um, slighted, okay, or, or blindsided by this person. But with love here, I feel like love conquers all. All right, that's the kind of like loyalty that you have toward this person. Your love kind of feels unconditional for them. All right, but that unconditional love is starting to be more so conditional, all right, than anything here. All right, but let's get your, um, what's going on here, Berg? Let's get your energy, then I'm going to get your person. Okay. All right, three of wands. Okay, so progress. All right, Berg, I feel like you're, okay. So the energy with you right now, three of wands, I feel like you're trying your best to make progress in your own life, right? So as like you are in this time of separation, I feel like you're just thinking a lot to yourself. You might find yourself needing to be in nature a bit more or just really sit and think about like, damn, like how didn't I see this coming or how the hell did I miss this red flag? All right. I feel like there was a lot of inner turmoil. You had a lot of conflicting beliefs. It's like you have like a, a one side of you is like, oh my God, I missed them. The other side is like, fuck them. All right. So I feel like there's like a lot of different emotions this person stirs up just about every single emotion in you all right and i feel like that's kind of what you ponder about give me more here spirit okay we have the two of uh swords in the reverse but i feel like at some point virgin you take where you are in this timeline right i feel like at some point with this two of swords in the reverse that you've really come to a point where it's like okay it's either i'm going to continue to ignore the problem which means i'm also ignoring the solution right or i'm going to be solution oriented so with the two of swords coming out in the reverse, I feel like you decided to make a decision. I do feel like the separation was um was on you, Virg. I feel like you're the one who decided to separate from this person and kind of become single with the ace of swords. I feel like you put boundaries up and you kind of really X this person out here. All right. I feel like it also there was also some sort of conversation before you did it or, you know, a couple one or two liners. I don't feel like there was a lot of hot and heavy like back and forth here. All right. But what was this decision that you made here? I feel like you're also tired of being unsure. All right. I'm tired of being unsure about the future or where you guys were going. Okay, we have the six of cups. So Virg, yes. Okay, bottom of the deck, the high priestess. Now you know, like you knew this. Like I feel like you knew that you were planning this all along. I feel like part of you has like a very um a, a side of you that's like, okay, you're trying to be patient with yourself. Like I miss this person. I'm trying to hold on. I'm trying to be strong here. But with the six of cups, you can't help but to kind of look at the past. Now, the one thing that I do want to mention, Virg, with the six of cups, it's also like a card for me as a reader. I also look at it as rose colored glasses, right? Because when we tend to look at the past and we reminisce, we're thinking we tend to romanticize the past where we kind of really leave out all the things that kind of really hurt us like that that great deception or how this person stabbed you in the back whatever that was for you I feel like part of you is like it's like you kind of get soft sometimes right especially when you focus on just the best parts of the relationship here all right but I do feel like there was a lot of love here that you felt for this person at one point you did feel like it was very reciprocal okay ten of wands it was very reciprocal Virg and I feel like with the ten of uh the ten of wands coming out you might have felt like you could have had more patience or you might have felt like this person should have had more patience with you. It's like we were almost there. We could have really did this thing. All right. And I didn't pull for your person yet, but I'm getting a, I'm getting a very heavy energy from them. It's where they think like this is just a regular thing. Like we just need time or the things take time. Virg. Like good things take time. Give me a minute. Like I feel like this person sees you as somebody who's hasty or like you want to you want to move this forward quickly or something like that. And your person's like, you know, I need time. All right. We're going to get into that in a minute. 
All right, but what is this? What is this that you're thinking about, Bird, with the three of all wands here? Okay, the high priestess. Ooh, okay, so, Bird, part of you feels like you should just stay silent. You're like, you know what? Fuck all of that. I'm going to just completely go silent on this person. I feel like part of you also wishes that you can kind of just quiet the voices in your head. All right. And, and kind of just really be able to tune into your intuition. I feel like you're really tapping into spirit. You're really drawing on every resource that you have to guide you in a situation. And you do come up with a decision. What is that? OK, the, t uh, the king of pentacles here. OK, so Ver I feel like your decision is kind of boss up. All right. And that's always that's always the Virg's default. Right. One thing we always going to do is boss up uh, the devil card here. Yeah. You've been thinking about this for a long time, making this move or really understanding that. OK, well, if I can't have this person, I can't do this. Let me focus on what I can do. And that's I can focus on my pentacles. I can focus on my family. I can focus on stability here. I feel like Ver this is also the first time that you have felt stable while being with this person and that's interesting because you had to be alone to feel stable all right i don't know how that makes sense but that's just an energy that i got but there's something about the past with this person that really draws you back in okay what is this okay the devil yeah those thoughts those sneaky little thoughts berg i feel like they come in your head and you're just like damn yeah they start off little and then they end up like uh kind of kind of influencing how you think how you feel and then you kind of have to remind yourself of all the burdens that this came with very yes the ten of you have the ten of wands clarified by the ten of swords all the burdens that this came with how long it took how arduous this journey was here all the arguing Anything that has, has kind of happened and you're like, okay, nah, I'm glad that we said that we separated. I feel like Virg, if you're being honest with yourself, it's like you're hoping that this is more temporary, just like your person. Okay. But the thing is with the, um, there's a lot of repetition here. I'm not sure what it is, Virg, but I feel like, again, it's a cycle. Like this is a cycle. I feel like we've been getting that for you. I feel like you've been really, you know, trying hard to kind of rid yourself of someone that's keeping you in the cycle. Look at the bottom of the deck, we pull in the 10 of wands all ready for your person. All right, so what is all of this? What is all this? I need time. Good things take time. We got to heal. What the hell is this? How is Virgo's person feeling toward the Virgo at this time, spirit? How is the Virgo's person feeling toward the Virgo at this time? Okay, the Knight of Wands, bottom of the page of cups. Okay, so I feel like Virg, your person is more... Um, I want to say that they are, are in heavy contemplation while you guys are in separation. They're in heavy contemplation of coming in and giving you some sort of something. Right. But it will be I want to say it's on the smaller side uh, right now. I can't quite see what it is. We'll get more into that in a minute. But with the Knight of Wands as their first card toward you, I feel like they're still excited about you. Like they like I, this person may have ruined uh, your excitement for them, but they still have this passion or this zeal for you. They still feel like. Um, I don't know, Virg, I just feel like they look at you as somebody very exciting. They see you as young and youthful, even if you're, you might be older in age. But for me as a reader and just as a person, youth is in the, is, is, uh, held within the spirit. Okay. Not by age. So I feel like your spirit is young. You're fun. And I feel like your person misses that. Like when the Virgo is absent, it's felt right. It's not like some, you can just slip off into the abyss and people ain't going to notice. Nah, this person feels the hell out of that. I also feel like your person is very well aware that there is, um, some level of them being non-committal. Okay. And you're like, oh, I hate, like, I feel like Virgo, that's what your issue is. It's like, fuck, I hate that I have to move on from you. Why can't you just commit? Why can't we just, you know, do what the hell we said we were going to do and move forward? Okay. Why am I having to get stability on my goddamn own? I'm also getting Virg that while, you know, during this time of separation, there is someone, it could be a king of pentacles. OK, or someone very stable that you're also that you're that kind of came into the picture. And it's like, damn, I could have it easy with this person. My life could be fucking easy, but I'm choosing this bullshit. All right, I just feel like you're not feeling the King of Pentacles or something like that. Let me pull one card on that. All right. Yeah, very, I feel like that person gives you can give you peace of mind, but I don't think you you really, you know. OK, yeah, it's a cup. It's, it's a new it's a new lover. All right. Yeah, I don't think you want that, though. Ver. You go silent on them quick. All right. But again, OK, back to the Knight of Wands. I feel like this person is just like um, they're seeing you as very exciting. They also feel like there's that you can't really. Um, it's almost like this connection. It's always ready to erupt. 
right? There could be a, a sense of like uh, volatility here, impending doom kind of energy. But the, with the two of cups, this person is still seeing you as that soulmate energy. Hence why they're like, okay, you know, me and the Virgo are just going through what we're going through soon. We'll have uh, some more clarity with the sun card here. All right, I feel like your person feels like you guys have too, you guys have too much in common. You guys are too much alike and too much in unison for this not to... Uh, go over well here all right we just we just flew out as the five of pentacles so i feel like your person i'm getting a self-pity okay energy from them i feel like there's a lot that they can do but they're so they get so um i want to say so in the moment or so upset with what's going on although they could be the ones causing it Berg. and i say that because every time i see this card it's like this person is literally wallowing in their own bullshit because there's the key and there's the keyhole if you get your sorry ass up you'll be able to take the key and open up the goddamn door and release yourself. So I feel like there's something that this person just simply won't do. I feel like your person is very stubborn. You could be dealing with the Tauren. Okay, give me more here, spirit. Okay, three of swords. And it's like, Virg, I feel like part of them doesn't want you to see this. They're, they're acting as though they have peace of mind. All right, and I feel like they're also viewing you as someone who may, might be a bit unbothered because you're letting this separation just kind of rock out. Um, but with this three of swords here... I feel like your person, they don't want you to really know how hurt they are, okay? They're also aware that they have hurt you over and over and over and over and over again. And I feel like, I, like as time went on, Virg, the hurt got deeper. All right, yeah. Okay, give me more here. Why is the Knight of Wands here? How is this person viewing my Virgo at this time? Okay, we have the King of Swords. I'll take the King of Swords. Okay, bottom of the deck the chariot so they're viewing you as somebody who has put boundaries up they're viewing you as somebody who's straightforward no nonsense at this time because it's like listen i can go virgo can go from this you see how she's all in the moment chilling to this real quick okay and i feel like you went to the king of swords Virgo, because this person wasn't really giving you any kind of love offer and you're so Virgo, i feel like you're you're, the, you're most pissed off because you're getting it so easily from someone else or it's like it's so easy somewhere else. It's like, I don't know. I'm feeling this great sense of ease. Not with this person. Okay, but what is this two of cups here? Because this person's still viewing you as the soulmate energy. All right, the strength card. So they feel like you guys' connection is, is strong enough that you can continue going through these cycles. You can continue going through this bullshit. It's like this person still got some bullshit in them, Berg. All right, eight of swords here. I feel like they are stuck in their mind at this time. All right, what is this that they're thinking about? Seven of Wands. Okay, they feel like, Virg, it's going to be very difficult to get back into your good graces. I don't know what this person did, how badly they fucked up this time. All right, but with the Seven of Wands, this is like you not letting them in at all. I feel like you might have gone silent. You might not be answering calls. You might be ignoring them. All right, but this is a Virgo who's like, you're standing in your strength here. They're in Virgo. I feel like your person didn't, and that's where they fucked up. Okay, your person wasn't aware that you have a very soft, a very, very soft, kind, um, very giving side, almost giving to a fault, Virg. But when you keep messing up, you're going to see the ferociousness of that lion come out in you. You could have Leo in your chart. All right. Or you're just you're just able to tap into that energy there where it's like, I'm not just going to be soft and submissive and kind when you're treating me like shit. I don't deserve peasant peasant treatment. It's like, Virg, I feel like you're, you had to show this person a more um, animalistic side of you, where it's like you can be very, very to the point. You can put boundaries up. You're not somebody who can just knock down every boundary here. You don't got it like that. Okay, so I feel like part of them is starting to see that. Ace of Swords, yeah, they're, they're, they're clear on that, Virg. All right, Three of Swords here. Um, we have the... Oh, wow. The three of swords and the seven of swords came out making the ten of swords, which we have on top. So I feel like your person is very well aware that this is why this ended or this is why your boundaries are so serious. Now, the difference between the king of swords and the queen of swords is like the king of swords is still moving more so with wisdom. Right. He uh, he's still very he's still very cutthroat, very um, I want to say very logical in how you're approaching this. That's how your person's seeing you. But then the queen of swords, you, her cup is locked up. Right. So you go out. This is like this is it's getting worse for this person, or at least how they're viewing the situation. And I think because they're letting so much time go by, like they really think like, OK, I'm going to let time go by and things should just magically get better. Oh, hell no. Shit is getting worse, love. Because the thing is, as things as time goes by with the lovers here, they're knowing that you have options or that you're going to open yourself up to that. All right. Your person is a damn fool to let that shit happen. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right uh yeah bottom of the deck we have soulmate so okay they're still viewing you as a soulmate i'm gonna pull from my other deck because this is um mm -mm, Berg, this is what we're not gonna do on this good wednesday all right we have i had to leave already starting off very look i split it says come back listen all right i just saw a new start too okay what's going on spirit give me a couple cards for how this person is is feeling toward my virgo at this time all right we got clingy <laughs> and hiding my feelings so hiding their feelings because that you guys aren't are in a communication all right and with clingy i feel like part of them their energy is clinging to you okay i feel like they know that they'd be on a tight leash if they're to come back you're very turned off by this person and you're not happy virg all right and what's funny is that we have just watch so i feel like your person is going to uh i don't know what the hell they got up their sleeve okay yeah all right virg i'm gonna turn these cards over in the extended here they do think this is a temporary split though all right, we have all of a sudden here. Oh, God. I'm going to uh, clarify these cards and extend it. I'm going to get their next steps. What's going on with this person? What can you expect from them? And what feelings are they hiding? So if you are interested, Virg, everything is down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute. 